the Adirondack Wildlife Refuge is excited to welcome you to this virtual classroom on the North American porcupine. The adults weigh about 20 pounds. Now that makes them the second largest rodent in North America behind only the beaver. During winter's chill, they'll stay very close to a stand of food source trees, such as the eastern hemlock. The green needles of the conifers supply a very important food source at a time of year where it's very tough to find good food. They are actually very slow moving. Now, if you think of their body shape, they're designed to climb trees. So when they're walking around, they have kind of a funny gait. They don't really go more than six miles an hour, and that's it. They're nearsighted, so they need to bring in their food very close. Porcupine have 30,000 quills across their back, so they are not a good target for predation. They do have a few predators like fisher and cougar and great horned owl, coyotes sometimes, but for the most part, things leave them alone. After a heavy snowstorm, they'll sometimes wait a while before they get out and about. They're so low to the ground, their belly plows through the snow. Look at this incredible track. You would imagine a smaller animal like a porcupine that doesn't walk very fast would have a tough go in the winter snow, but the truth is they tank their way right through it on their perpetual search for food. American porcupine are solitary animals. They only come together in fall to mate, but in the spring, they give birth to porcupets. Yes, that's what they're called, porcupets. Incredible. Besides being adorably cute, they spend their summer chasing leaves, berries, and nuts. But in the winter, it's back to the ever-important conifer tree needles. Their claws are very interesting. They only have four toes in the front and five in the back, which aids them in climbing. Even though they're fantastic climbers, they do occasionally fall. The most dangerous part is if the branch gives way. Now often, like you see here, they will walk out onto very narrow, precarious branches just to get to the greatest needles. Now without having a thumb, you would think they weren't able to grab things, but actually they do fantastic with their little hands. Like all rodents, their teeth grow through their entire life, but we have to talk about their smile. Their teeth are orange. It's not bad hygiene. It's actually the fact that they have iron oxide on their enamel. That protects their teeth. Now that's incredibly helpful because in the wintertime, not only do they eat the hemlock needles and other species like spruce, but they also go after the bark of trees. Porcupine are truly an incredible species. To learn more about the American porcupine and many other incredible species, visit us at the Adirondack Wildlife Refuge in Wilmington, New York. I'm Mark Frazier, and I'll see you again very soon.